guys are in Collard Grove. And you have just done your shoppings. Okay. You've also given the vial of liquid to Eran, who is off gleefully studying it, and as well as the tracing of your tattoo, Kathleen. Indeed. Indeedy. And Aran is uh, is just, you know, he's wandering around in his tower going... I fucking hate him. You hate uh, everyone I have. Every NPC. I like Alpert, alright? He's cool, alright? He's, he's Santa Claus, everything's kosher with him. But, uh, if we're just doing whatever then, I'd like to ask Dother, actually... If he might know, if we can speak with someone regarding uh, how Corellan might see this whole dragon thing going down, and perhaps we can get some religious insight in all of this. Uh, while we're in town, I'm not sure if there is a church to Corellan around here, but uh, we can find out. There is indeed a church to Corellan around. Okay, uh, we can go there. Yes, please. Uh, uh, Alright, so not- um, you're going to head over to the church of Corellan then? Yeah. One momento, por favor. Sorry. Oh, pardon me. So you find the Church of Corellan, and you find Cleric Elignon. El... How the hell do you pronounce that name? Elignon. Elignon? Elignon. I'm going to call him Bellander. We're gonna, you're going to say hello to Cleric Bellander. Who Bellander. is um, sitting there and greets you. He greets you to his church. He says, welcome, welcome. Uh, greetings, Bellander. Or Elignon, or whatever your name is. I, <laughs> I'm confused already. You're going to fucking see him again, who cares? <laughs> uh, I have been traveling for several weeks now, having many strange adventures, and my companion here has had an even stranger experience, and would like to seek guidance into some changes that have occurred. Uh, she is a bit confused right now as to what to do. Uh, of course, of course. Would you care to come in and then maybe speak on this? Uh, I'm- yes. Okay. If we could, just have a moment of your time. Sure. Uh, does this require... Do you require penance? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, uh, so. I guess we should explain the situation. Uh, we were searching through uh, the tomb of a sorceress who is long since dead. Her name's Alila. Mm-hmm. And in her tomb, we came upon some magic that seems to have... Uh, Tainted myself in some way, and tainted let's just get yourself. let's just get the awkwardness out of the way, and I'm going to show him the wings. <laughs> oh, oh my! Um, Peter's your body and is I tainted. S- swear to God, if you say I'm an elf and I have wings, <laughs> I see. Well, um, interesting. Uh, I, I, what, what caused this? Uh, there was some sort of elemental magic down in that, uh, that crypt that we needed to continue along, and every time we defeated a monster, it seemed to absorb itself into this tattoo I have on my hand. I see, and, and this tattoo, you, you gave yourself this tattoo? No, I've never been much one for tattoos, it just sort of forced itself upon my hand, and even after I assumed getting rid of everything we needed the key for, it still remains on my hand. So it was a for it was forced upon you then. Yes, I see. And this crypt, who did this crypt belong to? You say? Zalila. Zalila. Zalila, eh? Yes, that's what I said. Zalila. <laughs> Zalila. Zalila. Let's cut the whole thing off. Well, this is interesting indeed. Well, I, I've heard stories of Zalila. She was. She was quite the quite the follower of Bahamut. Uh, it, those are just stories, of course. Um, of course, she went mad and with power and decided that she was going to become Bahamut. That was uh, quite a long time ago, and I don't really believe the stories myself. But still, this is very interesting and coincides with what you've said. Uh, 
I'm not sure Corellin would look highly upon this, as sort of transforming into a god would be quite the sin. Is that what you're saying is happening? No, what I'm saying is happening is oddly similar to a story about a crazy woman who wanted to turn herself into a dragon. Oh. Do you know of perhaps a way that this curse could be removed? Well, we could pray. We could pray to Corallon. Hopefully you will, uh, Corellin, hopefully that will remove the curse. Um, until then, maybe, uh, maybe you could take your, your troubles to the mages who could look further into it, maybe for some arcane reason. I understand, Father. Still, I may Corellin go with you, I... I just hope, uh, I just hope for your sake that you, you hide yourself, or at least your wings, from, from the followers of Bahamut. They may either see you as, 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 as a, as a heretic, or they may see you as the Platinum Dragon Reborn. Um, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> hopefully it's, uh, hopefully it's, uh, neither in that case, and they just see you as a freak. Oh, yes. Well, that is obviously the, uh... <laughs> the quote-unquote positive way to put a spin on this. <laughs> well, uh, try to be realistic here. Um, this is not a good situation. I would personally avoid the followers of Bahamut for now. They they may look down upon you and be rather murderous. Uh, awesome. Okay, then. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, well, um, go in peace and may Corellin be with you. Uh, yes, uh, Father, real quick do you know of any places where Bahamut followers collect so we can avoid those places? Ah, yes. You, uh, you, mean, their, you mean their stronghold here? Well, that and if you know of their presence anywhere else in the continent. Uh, well, they have a fairly strong presence in Wormwick, and there are several uh, outposts uh, within Red Wolf and Felbrig. Uh, but beyond that, I mean, their, their strongest presence would be in Wormwick. Oh, goody! Thank God. So, uh, yeah, thank you again, Father. Uh, yes, well, I, I wish I could be of more assistance. Um, tell me, uh, this tattoo you have, uh, can I can I take a drawing of it? Sure, why not? Pass okay. it around. <laughs> he takes a drawing of the tattoo. Uh, as he holds your hand, he notices that it changes from earth to fire to wind to water, and he, he sort of studies this for a second and goes, This is very strange, you know that? Oh, yeah, I'm well aware this is completely abnormal. Uh, well, I will I will look into this. I, I fancy myself a researcher, so maybe I could find something religious about this magic tattoo. Thank you, Father. <sighs> may may Corellin guide you, young one, and hopefully you shall, you shall return unharmed. Uh, blessings upon you as well, Father. And when I turn, I'm going to say to her, I am fucked. Yes, I gathered that. Yeah. May the force be with you. All right. If anyone else wants to do something, go right ahead. I am. I need to sit here and well upon the fact of how fucked I am now. <laughs> well, <clears throat> maybe you're just a big fan of Earth, Wind, and Fire. You ever think of that? <sighs> that is true. <laughs> Oh, you are, I'm so sorry. Like I said, I was so sorry, Chris. It's cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, why did it have to happen to Kathleen? The one who was like completely and utterly 100% loyal to Wormwick. Um, anybody want to do anything else or are you guys going to find an inn for the night? And I don't have anything I planned, no. All right, so you guys are going to head off to an inn then, or... Something yeah, because we're also going to yeah. need to discuss what we're going to do about Timmy. Okay. Um, well, there are several inns. You guys are just going to stay at the one that costs the gold tonight instead? Yes. All right. We don't feel like going fucking Donald Trump tonight. <laughs> I'm sure Kathleen's not in the mood either. Mm -mm. All right, so you guys uh, go to the inn. You, you you still have your rooms as before. Um, you just basically pay the innkeeper for the night, and that's it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna talk about. It. I'm gonna strategize. Or are you just gonna try to wake up in the morning? If we can strategize. Um, I apologize <laughs> if I'm mute. I'm eating, so I'm trying to get it 
down real quick. Oh, that's cool. So you guys are sitting in the uh, you guys are sitting in a bar. Uh, one of the barmaids passes a few uh, few mugs around and says, "If you want anything, you let me know." And uh, she sort of wanders off. It's a fairly empty bar with just you and a few stragglers around. Um, doesn't really seem doesn't really seem like a lot of people spend time at the bar here. Uh, although the in although the rooms tend to be the uh, more crowded areas. Uh. Oh, actually, can we uh, have this discussion in our rooms? I'm just yeah. not entirely keen on having it in the. Uh, yeah, you guys. I, I was just trying to set you up, trying to get this ball yeah. rolling, but nobody was talking. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, um, we can do it in our rooms instead. And uh, uh, you guys want to do it in one room? You guys want to be split up, or? Uh, well, obviously, for me, oh. we're all gonna have it in one room. All right, so just all right, you'll be in one of the rooms. It's fine. All right, all right. So you're not in a bar, a restaurant. <laughs> you're in a room. <laughs> you guys are talking to each other. All right, night has fallen, and you guys are uh, chatting it up. Well, I think we've gotten to find out quite a bit regarding the uh, condition I'm with, and I don't want to trouble anyone with it right now, especially when we have bigger matters at hand, uh, particularly with uh, a Wayne's reappearance. Right. Well. Hmm. Well, he's your enemy. What do you guys think we should do? Well, yeah, I said there's two choices. It's either we go after the guy we knew as Hawklight, finish the job, which obviously you're against, or we can <coughs> throw our puny asses against the Death Knight and hope this stick works. <laughs> or we can try sneak in Dora Wayne's hold again and take Timmy out. We got in there the first time without much trouble. Mm, that was while he was asleep. Yeah, so, but... But 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 that doesn't change the fact of the matter that well, <coughs> while we were in there, there was no one in the hold, and that still is confusing. Uh, mm. Well, Wayne was in the hold, but right, except for him, and well, whoever was in the under crypt. But hmm, I have. Okay. All right, well, so excuse me. Um, what do you guys? Are you? up for trying to see if we can find where Timmy is? I mean, attacking Orwain's hold doesn't mean we have to fight Orwain himself. We just have to get Timmy out. Mm. That's true. I think it might be worth it to at least do, re- to do some recon on the situation. Alright. Well... So, are we on board with going to try to get to Wayne's hold? I think that's to find enough, as bad of an idea as anything else. So, actually, hold on one second. Where is uh, Vontae's Tower in comparison to uh, Collins Grove? <clears throat> uh, yes. It's to the northeast. Do uh, you want a you want a distance calculator? Uh, okay, no, I'm just looking at your app. I see it was very far out of the way. Uh, perhaps we about. should. Perhaps we should. I think that we should first wait to see what uh, what in the next day or, or next day or two uh, the research that Oren's doing on uh, the staff and the mark how that's going and see where that go- and see where that leads. Fair enough. Uh, what do you think we should do about Timmy then? Well, if we're, well, I think that we should uh, see if the staff can be of any use. Because we don't really know that yet. Because even if we try to avoid a Wayne, I don't think it's going to be incredibly easy, even with the portals leading directly into his hold, to just break him out without a Wayne noticing our presence. Sure, so we should be prepared for some sort of a confrontation with him. I just feel bad about leaving Timmy there in the meantime. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Poor old Timmy. Indeed. But it seems about as solid a plan as any at the moment, so if we want to wait a day to see if uh, we get any results back, I'm all for it. I'd say at least wait the night and see what we find out. So you guys are going to sleep the night out and uh, head back to the researcher? Yes. If you guys are in favor of that. I am. Okay. Alrighty. Um, You guys uh, set yourselves up in your rooms for the night? And in the morning, when you wake up, 
Kathleen, you feel kind of strange. 